Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a message to all the da'wah channels on YouTube. Um, I have a lot I want to get out. I've got like two years worth of venting that I'm going to crunch down into a few minutes. So please do help me out by providing me some of your undivided attention. Defending Islam from the attacks of atheists, ex-Muslims, Christians, it's not really my thing, it's not really my field. But the reason why I'm here, the reason why I'm crunching out all these videos is because I realized um, about a year ago that there aren't many people doing that, which is really, really strange. And I was thinking about this. You see, there are many, many Dawah channels out there. Um, and yet it seems like a lot of them are focused on a lot of other things. Now, I do understand that apologetics isn't like the most important thing in the religion. Um, I do understand that a lot of channels focus on fiqhi matters, they focus on um, Quran-related studies, they focus on Arabic teaching, which is great, which is, and, and mawa'ad, um, reminders, that's great. I appreciate it, good job, keep it up. What irritates me though is the focus, the amount of attention that's given to refuting other Muslims. Now, yes, of course, I'm aware that sometimes there are Muslims that deserve to be refuted. I'm aware that sometimes people make really um, problematic statements and yeah, statements that are bordering kufr and they need to be shot down. They need to be refuted thoroughly. I understand that. I appreciate that. Keep it up. However, however, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about some issues that wallahi don't deserve this attention because there are priorities. There are several channels that are really doing well. They're getting hundreds of thousands of views per video attacking Islam. And no one's doing anything about it. Yeah, let's be frank. So for example, for example, David Wood started making videos like 10 years ago. Now he's got 1,200 videos on his channel or something like that. He's making, what, like one or two videos per day. What are you guys doing about it? No one's doing jack. Instead, we have a lot of video refutations against uh, hezbis and cults and mubtidia and whatnot. Wallah, yani, guys, come on. I, I, I appreciate the concern in regards to guiding Ahl Sunnah to the path of Rasulullah I do appreciate that. Bas wallahi, priorities. Here's the thing. You, whoever you are, and now yeah, when I'm saying you, you're thinking, yeah, maybe. This is definitely, this is definitely a video about me, right? You, you take your alm from Qatada. You take your alm from Abdul Razzaq. You take your alm from Ibn Hajar. You take your alm from Ibn Jawzi. And if any of these people were alive today, you'd be making refutations against them. However, since they're dead, they are ulama that we respect and we love. And the people that you're making videos against today, you differ with them less than those that I've mentioned. So, ya habaybi, priorities. Priorities. This is not my field. And I'm doing this out of necessity. And the thing is, you guys have an end for this. I see you have the end for this. You guys go really deep into shubuhat. I see you really deep. Of course, shubuhat in regards to matters that you disagree with, with other Sunnis. However, when it comes to shubuhat that are brought by non-Muslims, you just ignore it. Yeah, guys, yani apostasy is a real thing. An, I didn't know this. I don't know. Maybe you don't know. Even though yeah, you're living in the West, I'm living in the Middle East. But some, some, maybe you don't know, which is strange. But this is a reality. I don't get why this is being ignored. And subhanAllah, a lot of them are very sincere folk. A lot of them are extremely sincere. It's not some sort of disease of the heart for every single person. A lot of ex-Muslims just want an answer. You know, subhanAllah, some guy I was talking to a while ago, he was like, I saw these attacks against Islam and I just didn't find an answer. No one's putting anything out. There are arguments made against the deen with no responses out there. 
that yeah, you can find them. Like if you dig deep enough into some, you know, third page into Google, you might find an article, a short article or something, right? But there are no videos. And a lot, and ugh, come on, this is, we are in the video age. So yani, um, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to make videos against every single Islamophobe, Islam critic out there, wait for you guys to catch up? Yeah, this is, again, this is not my field. Yeah, I should know, yeah, any friggin' fardh kifaya ala rasi. When do you guys start refuting each other? Shal maskhara. Yeah, any, I don't know what it is. Um, sometimes I think to myself, is it that I care more? No, I don't think I care more. Sometimes, uh, yeah, any, I, I feel like, I don't know what drives me. Sometimes I don't know what drives me. But to be honest, this attitude, this negligence, it's a major issue. And you guys need to start stepping up. So what I want, this is uh, a plea, not to you, because a lot of you guys don't care. But this is a plea to the viewers who really actually do care who really, really care strongly about this stuff. This is a plea to the viewers. If you see your favorite da'wah channel attacking another da'wah channel or another da'iyah, another Sunni da'i that's calling towards Ahl Sunnah, however, he has his own views and his deviances aren't really that big of a deal, then please link this video in that comment section get my message out to those guys tell them that yeah shabab khalas khalas we have priorities that we need to focus on and the priorities isn't refuting this mubtada and that hizbi guy and this cult come on guys come on 